Check one, two. Give me a little bit more volume on this mic, sir. Thank you. Thank, I'm going to do something quickly, um, if you guys can help me. Do, do, you, do you know the age-old saying, um, it's hard uh, to gain trust, but it's easy to lose? And anybody know anything about that? Um, I just want to check the room out real quick. Have anybody's trust ever been broken? Just want to just want to look around, make sure anybody, make sure I'm talking to the right people tonight. Um, let's let's do this. A uh, little unconventional tonight. Is that all right? Because y'all know I'm a little weird. I'm a weird guy, and and you know I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna work my way into it. I have scriptures and everything for you tonight. Hopefully you have your pens and paper and notebooks and things tonight because you're gonna need them. Amen. Glory to God. Um, Father, we thank you for the day. We thank you for life, health, strength, peace, and prosperity. Lord God, be with us tonight. Hide your servant behind the cross. Use your servant tonight in Jesus' name. Speak to me. Speak through me. Amen. 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 Come on, be seated. Come on. Come on, be seated. I, I, I'm going to just do something, and then we're going to go into what God gave me tonight. Trust is hard to gain, uh, but it's easy to lose. Trust is hard to gain, but it's easy to lose. Um, let's, let's do it. God wants us to trust him. Okay, I can't make it no easier than that. God wants us to trust him. Hear me, Sabas, come here. Boy, you didn't hear me call your name? Boy, come on here. Amen, come on here. Yeah, yeah, amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I miss you. All right. You trust me? Yes, sir. You sure? Yes, sir. You, you, you sure about that? Yes, sir. For real? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. We're going to see. Amen. We're going to see if he trusts me. Y'all think he trusts me? Yeah. Okay, all right. We're going to see if he trusts me. Amen. We're going we're gonna to find out. How long have you been around? Since 2014. Since 2014. Since 2014. Amen. You've been blessed by the ministry and all that since 2014? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Right. Tremendously. Tremendously. Okay, cool. Let, let's, let's, let's do this. Come on. I need you to stand right here on this step. This step. Just, just, one, just one step up right there. You sure you trust me? For real? You sure you trust me? Mm -hmm. You sure you trust me? I just want to make sure. Because, you know, what God does, he'll ask you, do you trust him? And, and, and then he'll say, you know, since you, if you trust me, um, I need you to be a good steward over the things that, yeah, yeah, that I've, that I've given you responsibility over, you know, if you, if you really trust me. You know what I mean? Do you, you sure you trust me? You sure? So, so, so if I was to push you backwards, what would happen? I, want, I don't want you to move your feet. What if I push you back? What do you think? Do you think I got you? Yes, sir. I lean back and you keep holding. You sure? Yes, sir. You sure about that? Yes, sir. Okay. okay let's see. Okay, how about this? Close your eyes. <laughs> we gonna say. Now, what if I don't grab you? Will you still trust me? Yes, sir. Oh, you're hesitant. Trust that you won't catch me. And you trust I'm going to catch you? Yes, sir. But you don't feel me touching you, do you? Not yet. You don't, you don't feel me touching you, you know? You, you know I'm still here. Yes, Whoa. Whoa. So... Because we don't see God, and even sometimes we don't feel God, he just said, I trust that you're still here and you still got me. Sold you. I'm so glad you said it. So, so let's, let's see. Let's see. We're going we're gonna to find out if you, if you trust me. Now, come on back. 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 Now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 he didn't flinch. He didn't look back. He didn't turn his head. Matter of fact, he never even opened up his eyes. He knew I was in front of him. But the problem is, a lot of us open up our eyes at the moment that we shouldn't open up our eyes and have complete and total trust upon God. And then the biggest mistake that we make is we turn around and look. I'm trying to help somebody. We look back. Uh, okay. 
if you're steady looking backwards, you can't concentrate on what God has in front of you. Oftentimes, your, your ability to look backwards uh, gives you a lack of trust in God. The more you look back is the more you don't trust God. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> the more you look back, the more you don't trust God. Let, let's try this again. Let's see what happens. Let's, let's see if he's going to do it. He did it the first time. I wonder if God can do it again. Because if I push him this time, keep going. He, oh, also, he ain't flinching. Keep going back. He ain't open up his eyes. He, 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 he just, he just laying back. He's resting. I'm trying to help somebody today. He's resting. Uh, and where God would have him. Even though he's in a fallback position, he's still resting in God's arms because he's trusting that God will what? Bring him back again. I'm working him too hard. You all right. I'm sorry. I'm working him too much. I'm working. Thank you, sir. I just, I just wanted to show people what trust really is. Trust is being able... To, to, to know you're falling and still trust God. That's good. To, to, to know and then rest. Yeah, yeah, I'm falling back, but I can rest in who God is. Am I making any sense at all tonight? I don't know who that was for. I kind of heard that in the back, so I had to hurry up and throw that out there. Um, I'm going to make everybody in the room, if you believe what I say tonight, I'm going to make everybody in the room a trustee. Amen. I, 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 know that's, I know that's kind of a hard pill to swallow because some of us, you know, when we think of trustees, we go back, you know, oftentimes to the old Baptist church where you have a whole lot of trustees running around and they do certain jobs. They have responsibilities. Amen. Amen. Everybody in the room have a responsibility. Amen. Okay, let me say that again. Everybody in the room has a responsibility. Amen. You might not be a trustee in the temple of praise, but tonight I'm making you a trustee in the temple of praise. Amen. Uh, are y'all following me? Okay, all right. Do this for me. Lift up your right hand. Uh-huh. Y'all ready? So we're going old school. Y'all ready? Going old school. Repeat after me. I. I. Now say your name. You know, hold up, hold up. Time out, time out, time out. Y'all just messed me all up. Because some of y'all said, say my name. Okay, all right, come on. Let's go. Let's go back. Let's go back. We're going to start over. Lift your hands up. I. I. Put your name in the blank. Thank you so kindly. <laughs> um, swear. swear. To uphold. To uphold. All, biblical all biblical truths. And be. And be. A, good a good steward. Over everything. Over everything. God has placed. Me in charge of. Amen. Somebody put your hand together and bless God for that. So, so, so if now you have solemnly swore unto God and the people that are here that you're going to be a good steward, now do you know what that means? Oh, oh, yeah, we got a little quiet right there. We was happy for a moment, but now, now it then changed a little bit. Um, we, 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 we've been a, a good steward um, over the things that God has blessed us with. We, we've been dealing in the principles of stewardship. Y'all remember the principles of stewardship? The four principles of stewardship? Ownership, responsibility, accountability, and what's the last one? Reward. Amen. Uh, uh, ownership, responsibility, accountability, and reward. Amen. Uh, so, so if we are good stewards and understanding that nothing on this earth is anything that we belong, even the breath that we breathe is something that's owned by God. So every movement that we make, every activity, every movement, every limb movement, every muscle movement, every time you breathe in, it, it's because God allows you to breathe in. I, 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 went, I, went, I went with Bishop the other day. 
um, <clears throat> took him to the doctor, and, and while we were there, they, they did a stress test, and they did an EKG test to make sure everything was, was, was in line. They, they, they did everything. I was looking at the x-ray because as, as they were doing the EKG, they, they put, uh, what was the one, the sonogram right, right there they, 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 and, and showed a picture of his heart, and his heart was just thumping. Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. Yeah, that's something to praise God for. Do -do, do -do, do -do. Because it was a time when, when, when man stopped it. Oh, glory to God. Do you understand that that's the one thing that we don't have to think about beating? Okay, let me throw that out there again. Um, we think about moving our feet. We think about wiggling our toes. We think about closing our eyes. We think about standing up. We think about walking down the street. We think about grabbing a cup of coffee. We think about all of these things, but the one thing that we do not think about is your heart beating because God started it when he wanted to start it, and he'll stop it when he wants to stop it. And, and we were sitting there, we was watching it, and he was just laying there, and it was beating on his own. He was just laying there, and it was beating on its own, beating on its own, beating on its own. And I'm watching. I don't. What, what is the flap called that's inside your heart to, when you go in and out? The which valve? Which one is that? It's just a valve. It's not a particular name for a valve. What was what the name for? The mitral and the tricuspid valve. I don't know which valve it was, but it was flipping up and flipping back down. It was flipping up and flipping back down. Doing exactly what it was designed to do, stopping the blood flow when it needed to, and then opening up and allowing it to come back into the heart chamber when it was supposed to without you thinking about it. Hmm. Without you thinking about it. Hmm. So if God can do that, without you thinking about it. Why do you, you think about I'll pray. when it should be second nature to who you yeah, are. That's right. That's right. If he can make your heart beat, why do we go through changes when it comes to giving God praise and giving God glory for the things that you don't have control over? Okay. I just threw that out there. Now, hopefully later on tonight, you, 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 you will grab hold to that idea and, and, and just, you know, every once in a while, you know, have, have a little moment and, and you just combust and jump out into a praise because you realize that, that the only reason that you're standing is because your heart is beating and you don't have no control over the heart that is beating that's inside of your chest. So therefore, uh, uh, I'm just thankful that he allows my heart to continue to beat without me having a thought. Or, um, our problem is we only praise God when it's stuff that's tangible. We only praise God when it's things, you know, houses and cars and lands and all that stuff. That's the only time we really praise God is when we can go out there and grab something tangible versus thanking God for breathing. Come on, sir. Uh, Instead of thanking God for every moment that we have 
on this earth. We thank God for every, the small things we need to begin to thank God. What, what do you mean, Pastor? Every time I open up my mouth and open my nostrils and breathe in, and because the Bible says everything that has breath must praise the Lord, I'm just thankful that I'm able to just, just to just breathe. We need to get to the place where we are sensitive enough, amen, to be good stewards over what's not ours and then give God praise for the things that's not ours. Can God trust you with things that's not yours? Okay, just, just a thought out there. Write this down on your paper. Type this down. Can God trust you? That's a question you need to ask yourself. Can God trust you to be a trustee over his stuff? Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get into the lesson right now. I'm going to go right into the lesson right now. Glory to God. Uh, last week, we had an opportunity. And, and when you get home, I, I, I need you guys to go through that and really look at that and think, is, is there something in, in, in my life that I need to change so that God can trust me more? Is there some things that I need to be more responsible over so that God can trust me more? Amen. Amen. What part of all of this that I'm not doing or I can do better so that I can please God on a different level? Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 You ready? You got your pens out? Um, last week, if you were not have it last week, I'm going to need for you to hurry up and get the tape because you're going to miss some stuff. Amen. I'm going to quickly run through this, um, some of the things that we were talking about last week, is, and, and, and we dealt with when it's our fault, um, when, we're, when we have not been a good steward over the things that God has for us. Um, if you remember, last week we talked about uh, uh, having unwise formed partnerships. We, we talked about that. We talked about lack of planning. We talked about laziness. Oh, laziness, laziness. A lot of us are still operating in laziness. We still asleep. We still a slumber. We operating in laziness. Um, dishonesty. That we, we, we stayed there for a little while last week. Being dishonest and being a thief and being, we, we stayed right there for a little while. And then presumption, we talked about that. And then we talked about greed. Amen. We talked about greed. Tonight, um, I, I want to talk about overcoming financial mistakes. Amen. You said you was a trustee, right? You lifted up your hand and said that you were a trustee. Amen. So, so by you being a trustee, um, one of your obligations of being a trustee is following the word of God to the, to, to, to the letter and to the T. Amen. Amen. Following the word of God to the letter and to the T. So when it says, will a man rob God, yet he has robbed me in what my tithe and in my offering, uh, you can't just give half. Okay, all right, amen. Uh, um, um, I, I started on some of this on Sunday. There, there, Ananias, what he did was, so you'll find him in, in Acts chapter 5, you'll find him um, there. What he did was he went and he sold land, and after he sold the land, he brought, he brought it in, and he was trying to be just like uh, another young man that, that gave all of his money and gave everything, sold everything that he had, and came in there, and it was a blessing unto the house of God, but yet he gained prominence after he, was, after he gave all of these things. And, 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 and Ananias wanted to be similar to him and wanted to be popular with the people. So what he did was he brought in a portion of it after he took his money away. He took a portion of his money out. He didn't bring it all like he was supposed to. Mm. He was supposed to bring it all. Matter of fact, he didn't have to bring nothing. But he chose to come in and bring a portion of it and try to fake as if it was all of it. Okay, all right. Uh, let, me, let me break that down real, real easy for you. Let me give you a real quick uh, example of that. I come in and, and, and I make $100, and I made $100 this week. And, and because I made that 100 I understand that my tithe is, is $10. And, and, and I didn't um, uh, say I don't even have the whole 10 I did set aside, set aside the 10 I set aside my tithe. Uh, right out of my check. I don't do anything else. I set mine aside first because if I don't set it aside, I'm going to do something with it. Yes, sir. 
Okay, amen, amen. Uh, I'm going to put myself in a position to where I'm going to always pay my tithe first, get it out of the way, amen. I'm going to get mine out of the way because I don't trust me. Can I just be honest? Because, you know, I might be at the mall and see a pair of shoes and my tie's still sitting there. You know, I'm, I get that back. You know, y'all, y'all know how we do. Amen. So, so what Ananias did, he, instead of giving the whole $10, he came in perpetrating as if it was the whole 10 walked up to the offering basket and laid it, you know, at the feet of the prophet, and the prophet called him on it. Amen. Wisdom. Mm. He should ask God who gives wisdom generously, liberally, generously. Uh Uh-huh. To all without finding fault. Mm Mm-hmm. And it will be given to him. Okay. Point number one tonight. Pray for wisdom. Mm -hmm. Pray for wisdom. To learn from the financial trial we create. Pray for wisdom. To learn from the financial trial that we created. What do you mean by that, Pastor? Listen. Okay. Um, If I was to do some numbers out there, let's make it real quick. Uh, We just got a raise on our job. And since we got the raise on our job, we were excited about the raise. And we praise God about the raise. And, and, and the raise that we got was, was $400 monthly. Amen. It was $400 monthly. We were blessed for $400 monthly. But then, because we are good stewards, we pay our tithe on that. So, so it's not really $400. What, what is that? Four six, I mean, 360 So now I got $360 extra a month because God decided to give me a raise and show me favor because I'm walking in the season of favor in my life, and and God is blessing me on all sides, and because I was a good steward at my job, they decided to give me a blessing. Amen. Amen. They decided to give me a job. So now I got uh, $360 extra left on my check, and I'm I'm excited about it, and I want to get me a new car. And I want to get me a new car. And $360 will buy me a better car than I have. Amen. But I didn't take in all the costs. Of, the, of what it would cost me to really buy the car. So, so, so now I, I go into the, to the dealership and I budget it for 360. Uh, I'm just going to point it out. I budget it for three because I know I got 360 and I'm going in, I'm getting me a car. Great. So they give me a car that's better than the one that I have and it's only $260. Mm, that's all I got to pay a month. It's only $260 because my credit is good because I've been a good steward. Amen. Yeah. So they're not hitting me with 15, 18, 19, 24%. They hit me with 1% because my credit is good because I've been a good steward for the whole time. Uh, amen. I'm trying to help somebody today. So, so, so now I got $260. That only leaves me $100 left a month, and I'm still doing good, but I didn't factor in because I went and bought the car. Now and I did not factor in. Insurance. Oh, glory to God. Because I've never been in a car wreck. I've never had a problem. I don't even have a speeding ticket. I ain't got no red light camera. I never did nothing like that at all. So my car insurance is $50. Oh, that's real good. Amen. It's 50 bucks. So now I got 50 left that's in my budget, but I didn't factor in gas. Uh, Oh. I didn't factor in getting it clean. I didn't factor in maintenance. I I didn't factor in all these extra things that I have to have if I want to ride my car the way I want to ride it. Uh, Are y'all following me? So so now I I, I got $50 left, but it cost me $50 a week in gas. Okay. It cost me $50 a week. So that's $200. Mm -hmm. It's $200 a month. So now I'm $150 in the hole. 
are y'all following me? I'm, I'm 150 in the hole. Because I want my ride clean, I, I'm, I spend $20 a week to get it washed. That's, a, that's another, you know, it's four weeks, you know what I mean? Another 80 on top of that. So now, you know, yeah, 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 uh -huh. I'm trying to figure this thing out. 230 in the hole. So I wasn't a good steward and I wasn't wise in my financial decisions uh, that I created myself. Am, am I making any? I'm, I'm going to help somebody in here tonight. Amen. So instead of taking the 360 and stacking that 360 for the next 15 months, because the old car could have handled another 15 months, and then I could have walked in there with a bigger down payment, making my payment a whole lot less. Not to mention the interest that was gained because I was saving instead of spending. The number one problem in the African American community is that as soon as money comes into the community, what they say, it was 60, uh, excuse, 60 seconds before it transfers hands. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. So you're trying to tell me that as soon as I get it, I have one minute before it's gone? So I haven't put anything up, no savings, no nothing. But yet, I'm going to stand and say I'm blessed. And yes, God has blessed you, but what are we doing with the blessing that he, that he, that he gave us? Because y'all remember, you know, the scripture talks about anything that we work with our hands, and, and we go out and we attain it with our hands, but we have to remember that God gave us the ability to be able to work with our hands to attain the wealth that we have. That's open Deuteronomy if you want to look for it. Amen. Uh, so so, so uh, we are not good stewards over the stuff that he gave us because we go out here and squander it as soon as we get it. Okay, how about this? I'm going to throw this out there. Living over our means. Living over our means. I'm just going to help somebody tonight. Amen. Living over our means. What do you mean by that, Pastor? You know you couldn't afford that apartment when you got it. Amen. And I'm going to throw this out there uh, to some single ladies. You thought you could depend on that guy. He ain't helping you no way. Amen. And even to some of the married couples in the building, if you can't afford it by yourself, don't get it. Okay, I just threw that out there. If you can't afford it by yourself, don't get yourself caught up in it. I'm trying my best to help somebody tonight. Amen. I'm trying my best to, to really help somebody tonight. God gives us wisdom without finding fault and or reproach. If we ask him for wisdom, he will give it to us. Okay, okay. He will give it to you no matter what your faults have been in the past. He will give it to you no matter how many times you've turned your back on him. He will give it to you no matter how many times you, you, you've sinned against him. He will give it to you if you ask for it. I'm just, just reading the scripture. That, that's what the scripture says. All right, great. You, do, do you have that? Go, do, do, do something else. Um, this is the next point you need to have. Um, after you ask for wisdom, you have to be wise in the things that God gives you. You have to be wise in the area uh, of financial growth. You have to be wise because this, I've been trying to tell you guys this whole time that God is getting ready to drop a major blessing on each and every one of us in this building. Amen. And, and, and just you know, do, do me a favor. Do me a favor. For the next 30 seconds, I need you to praise God for your neighbor's blessing because, you know, this just the thing. If I can praise God for my neighbor's blessing. Praise God for my neighbor's blessing.
Yeah, amen, amen, amen. I'm going to shift some stuff in the atmosphere for my neighbor because I understand that my neighbor is close to getting their blessing and I don't want anything in between them and my neighbor. Okay, I just want to make sure Yeah. for my neighbor's wisdom. Yeah. Because God is going to bless them. Now, so when it comes, they're not going to squander it. When it comes, they're not going to blow it. I, I, I'm excited for my neighbor. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad. Eh? <laughs> Glory to God. Now, now, I give you permission. I give you permission tonight. I don't care if it hurts their feelings or not. If the person beside you or the person behind you you, uh, they decided not to give God praise for you. Get up and move and find somebody that don't mind praising God. Yeah, go ahead, get up and move. It's okay. Because this is a season in my life I need to be close to somebody whoo, that I can reach out, touch, and agree with. <laughs> I don't need no haters. I don't need no blockers. Not, 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 not in this season, no, no. I don't need them in my life in this season, amen. Because I'm too close to a major breakthrough. And if I got to fight you to get to my blessing, you got to get out of my way. Oh, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Can, can I show you something quickly? Let me show you. Stand up, stand up. Stand up, come on, stand up, stand up. Stand up, stand up. Stand up. Stand up right in front of them. Right here, stand up right here. Uh -huh. Face each other. No, excuse me. No, face each other. Face me. Everybody face me. Well, God bless you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Get behind him. Get behind him. Willie. Willie, do me a favor. Get, get, get right behind him as well. Uh, Denzel. Come on, get behind him too. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Uh-huh. All right. This is what... We heard this on Sunday, but I got to show it to you so that way we can be able to, to, to grab, grab hold to it. And then, then that way we can, we can pull it into our spirit. And once we pull it into our spirit, then we'd be able to believe it and have faith for it. Um, if Bishop said something like this. He said, uh, 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 nothing mm -hmm, is able to stop you from getting the blessing that God has for you. Amen. He said it like this, no weapon. Oh, glory to God. That is form shall be able to stop. Okay, all right. My, my biggest problem is me. My biggest issue is me in my faith. My biggest problem is me being able to grab hold of what God has said. So, 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 glory to God. So now I'm facing me, but I heard no weapon. No weapon. No weapon. I, I'm facing me. Yeah, glory to God. So, so now my confidence level was once, yeah, yeah, real high, but I heard something that I didn't quite believe in. So, so now my confidence went all the way down. Oh, glory to God. I'm trying to help somebody in here tonight. So, so now what I'm doing is I got to fight against me get, to get to my blessing. Uh, somebody say no weapon, no weapon, no weapon. Oh, glory. Sometimes the weapons that are formed is you. Woo, glory to God. Sometimes your weapon that was formed to stop you from getting to the next level is yourself because you don't believe in what God said. Okay, all right. So what I got to do, I got to hurry up and move me out the way because after I get after me, then, then, then I got to fight against the people who don't believe that's around me. Oh, glory to God. Because a lot of us got too many people that's in our ears. 
Don't get mad at isolation. Isolation is meant to bless you. Yeah, yeah, amen. So now I got, I got me out the way. Now, 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 now I got to, I got to get the other folk that just don't believe. I got to get the doubters that just don't believe. I, I got to get the haters that's just doing things deliberately to block me from getting to my next level, getting to my destiny point, getting me to the place where I'm going to meet up with God. But I keep hearing no weapon. I keep hearing there's nothing that can stop me. I keep hearing there's nothing that can block me. I keep hearing that my blessing is right around the corner. But, 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 but I got I got to I got to clear my ear gate. Oh my God, I wish I had time to talk about your ear gate. Ooh, glory to God. Because the moment you let the wrong spirit into your ear gate is the moment that doubt creeps in. And when doubt creeps in, then Satan works in doubt. Am I helping anybody tonight? Glory to God. So now I got to get, yeah, yeah, the folk out my way. But I ain't done yet. Because you know, every time, you know, especially when you when you're on a on, on, on God's channel and, 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 and God is moving and God is working and God is, is blessing you and God is, is definitely He's been blessing you all the time. But 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 every time you turn around, not, not only do you run into a blessing, you run into an issue. Woo. Every time you turn around, you run into an issue. So now I got a problem that happened inside of my family. The ones I thought had my back. The ones who should have been with me the whole time. I got a problem. I can't get no help from where I thought I should be getting help from. My, 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 my family. Uh, glory to God. Some of us even get stuck at the point of death because somebody in your family might just pass away but we'll get stuck in grief nah. but the Bible said yay though I walk through I don't get stuck there I, got, I gotta keep pressing past it no matter how much it hurts uh, tell somebody tell them no matter how much it hurts Come on, tell somebody, no matter how much it hurts, I still have to press past the pain to get to where God is leading me. So now I got to push past that. So now, so now, oh, I didn't push me out the way. I didn't got folk out the way. I got family out the way. And now I'm face to face with my blessing. Hmm. Do I have the courage enough uh, or did I allow fear to creep in? Uh, because this is what happens, is that we know the blessing is there. But oftentimes your blessing will challenge you. Am I up for the challenge of the blessing? Because every blessing takes you higher. A lot of you know I used to work in the Senate, and when I worked in the Senate, I, I had to work my way up the ladder. But, but every time I got a raise, it came with more challenges. Every time I got another degree, it came with more challenges. Every time I went higher, it came with a little bit of opposition, and oftentimes the opposition is fear. 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 Tonight, I bind the spirit of fear in this house. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of fear. I will not be afraid of my next level. I know I'm talking to at least 10 people in this room tonight. 
So, but then, but then, but then, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad I, I picked you because uh, um, oftentimes, I, you know, we connect. I'm so glad that you represent the blessing tonight um, uh, because when you get the blessing, because you worked so hard to get to the next level. You press past yourself, push yourself out the way. You, you, you got rid of some, some folk that, that, that really wasn't with you no way. You had to get rid of them. And, 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 then, and, and then some family members, you had to push past them. You still love them. However, they, they, they can't be the one that's going to hold you up and slow you down to doing it. They, they, you still got to push past those folk as well. But when you get, glory to God, when you get to the blessing, after you get past the fear, because we're canceling fear. After we get past the fear, now we have the challenge of the blessing. And one thing that we got to do when we get to the blessing, and I just need your help just for a minute. I'm going to go back to my scripture in a second. I got a couple more minutes, and I, I only got to point number one. Amen. Um, but, but when we get to the, to the blessing, glory to God. Uh, uh, ooh, I love the Lord. Amen. Wait, 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 wait. I'm looking for somebody. Uh, come, 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 come. Uh, you're looking at the screen. Look at me. Come on. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, come on, come on, I need you to help me. Because cause this, this is what happens, is that I, I get connected to somebody who has the same faith that I have. Yeah, yeah. I get connected to somebody that, 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 that believes the same thing that I believe. Uh -huh. I get connected to somebody, yeah. glory to God, that, that, that when, when, when we begin to pray, not only does he pray for me, I didn't begin to pray for him. Glory to God. I begin to bind demons in his life, he began to bind demons in my life. I begin to encourage him and he begins to encourage me. Glory to God. One can chase a thousand but two can chase ten thousand for ten thousand to fly. So now I'm connected. Yeah, glory to God. And, and, and he see the blessing that I'm about to get. And I'm so glad he ain't a hater. I'm so glad he ain't jealous of me. I'm so glad he ain't trying to beat me. Because some folk we got close to us are trying to be you and not be happy for you. So now, we see the blessing together. Glory to God. We see the blessing together. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because we prayed about that thing and we see it. Now, it ain't happened in his life yet. But the closer I get to it, ahead, the happier he gets. Because the closer I get to my blessing, because we are connected, I get my blessing. He is just right there. Now, glory to God, y'all hear me. So then what we do is we grab hold to the blessing. And then we begin to praise God. Because I'm happy about the blessing because I got it. And then he's happy because he's Close to the blessing, because guess what? He praised God with me. Come here, come here, come here, come here. That's his blessing. Okay, stop. Y'all missed all of that. Y'all missed all of that. Come back here. Stand right here. You were supposed to be in the blessing. You were supposed to be excited. You were supposed to be on God's side. And that is... Okay, all right. I had to jack him up right quick because he's going to mess up my thing. Amen. Glory to God. I got my blessing. And then we praise God for my blessing. So we got to shout and dance for my blessing because we got it and God is moving and we are thankful that God gave me the blessing and because he praised God for my blessing the more we praise the closer he has got so every step we took the closer he has got every step we took the closer he has got every step we took the closer he has got Okay, oh, whoa, whoa, hey, stop. Check this out. Thank you, God, tonight. Glory to God. If you noticed, because we were connected, he didn't have to fight the same fight that I fought. Uh, uh, glory to God. Uh, uh, 
Can I make an announcement tonight and we're going to get out of here? Because you are connected to the temple of praise, you will have to fight the same fight that the... I dare you to give God a praise in this house. feet all that I ran out of time I did not run out of word but I ran out of time tonight I'm sorry for keeping you so long <laughs> I'm here to tell you tonight that the things that our forefathers struggled with the things that our forefathers had to fight for us to get here because we are connected Woo, glory to God because we are touching and agreeing on the same thing. We don't have to go through that same fight that they went through. Okay, all right. Glory to God. I thank you, all right. Come on, stand to your feet all over the bit. We're about to get out of here. I got to go. Come on, stand, everybody. Stand, everybody. If you can stand, stand. Amen. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Uh, it's important that you get connected to somebody that believe what you believe. Glory to God. That, that worship how you worship. That, that, that's consistent the way that you are consistent. trying to help you tonight I I got to get this to you God told me to give this to you tonight so, so after he give us wisdom I need y'all to pay attention matter of fact grab your pens while you're standing grab your paper while you're standing because I have to give you something tonight glory to God no weapon that is formed against me shall be able to prosper not even myself glory to God number two point tonight is be content be content write this scripture down beside it 1 Timothy 6 and 8 I need you to go home and study that tonight glory to God 1 Timothy 6, verses 8. Number three. Maybe I get a chance to come back and touch on some of these a little bit later. Pursue God instead of money. It's number three. Pursue God instead of money. And the scripture I would use for that one is 1 Timothy 6. He's verse 10 and verse 11. Both of them, they work well together. Amen. And, and, and put beside there just a quick note. Seek ye first the kingdom. Whew, glory to God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Glory to God. Number four tonight and, and would be accept God's discipline. Hebrews 12, 10 and 11. Mm -hmm. Accept God's discipline. A lot of us fight against 
things that God, how God disciplines us. Amen. And then we'll say it's not God. And oftentimes, because we did something, don't think that it does, it goes unnoticed. Amen. I, uh, Bishop talked about a little bit of that on Sunday, how he used to kill us for doing wrong. And he ain't lying. Glory to God. I do battle wounds, battle wounds. I want to hear you. I'm talking about dropping. <laughs> I shouldn't even say this. I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, dropping the belt and picking it up and forgetting what side he's swinging with. That's, I mean, beat downs. I mean, yeah. Uh, uh-huh, exactly, right there. Got hit with a buckle one time. I cried for three days. But I promise you, I ain't wear my new shoes outside no more. <laughs> Number five, and, I, and I'm going to stop there. Listen to counsel. Listen to counsel. Proverbs 12 and 15. The way of a fool seems right to him, but a wise man listens to advice. Um, hopefully you got all of these things. I'm, I'm doing the best that I can to, to, to give you the information. Amen. If, do you understand that it wouldn't be a child? in this neighborhood that if they needed food we had it if, if they need clothes we, we got it because all of us are on the same page do you understand the, the generations that we can positively influence if we were on the same page if you notice every time I preach I'm going to challenge you to do something I'm going to challenge you to be a good steward. Because I'm determined that this next generation won't have to fight the same stuff that we did. Our job is to make it easier, not make it harder for them. So at the end of the day, when I can grab my son and put him on my sh shoulders, I can lift him higher than I've ever been able to go because I've been a good steward and I'm able to propel and push him higher than I go. Every generation should be riding the backs and the shoulders of the one before. Are y'all hearing me tonight? Glory to God. Do me a favor, everybody grab somebody quickly. And I have to go past my time. I got to get the kids home. They got to go to bed. Food and they system and stuff, you know. We have to do that. Because being a good steward is not just in church. Being a good steward is about being a good steward over everything that God has given you responsibility over. So I got to get up and get them to school early in the morning. So that means I got to start at home first. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you for the hand that I am holding, the one that's on the left and the one that's on the right. Lord God, begin to give them joy. Give them strength. Give them peace. Lord God, help them to be content. Give them wisdom, Master. And Lord God, help them to become listeners of good counsel. Change some things that are around them if it need to be changed. Shift some things around my neighbor that need to be shifted, Lord God. So that my neighbor can be able to hear you clearly. It's not about me tonight, God. It's about me the prosperity of my neighbor. God, I thank you. 
just for that. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. Do me a favor, lose those hands and give God a praise. Before we go tonight, I, I have to do this with every head bowed, every eye closed. We don't ever want to end any service at all without offering Christ to you. If you're in the building tonight, every head bowed, every eye closed, no one moving if possible. Um, if you're in here and, and you desire to be baptized, if you haven't been baptized, you desire to be baptized, you desire to be saved tonight. Or you might even just want to be, want to get connected to this ministry. Oh, he on his way already. I he? told him, come on, he just ran on up here. Amen. Somebody give God praise for this young man. Amen. Thank you. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Amen. If I'm talking to you tonight, um, lift up your hand quickly. If I'm talking to you tonight and you want to be baptized and you want to be saved. Amen. I bless you. I see you. God bless you. I see you. You want to get connected to this ministry, lift your hand. Glory to God. I see you. God, I thank you. Now, and if you would be so kind, get past fear. Oftentimes, we, we, we in church and fear will hold us. Um, but if you're not afraid, I just want to give you a hug tonight. Love on you. And get some information from you so that we can begin to pray for you. Amen. Um, if you was one of those that lifted up your hands, I need you to meet me right here quickly. If you lifted up your hand tonight to join this church, if you lifted up your hand tonight to be saved, I need you to meet me right here. Come on. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. Amen. Praise, can you do me a favor and help me celebrate this young man who came tonight?